Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. So, everybody, was I right or was I right? Huh? I told you all these people that were related together in the family. I told you about Gavin Newsom and Pelosi being related. All the crooked dealings that they were all doing as this family. I told you throughout the world there were uh, family members that were set up and leaders in other nations that were all part of this whole little hoax. This whole little Antichrist Dijal movement. I told everyone. What about the what about the video I, I had explained to you guys about the Antichrist beast and the separations of the peoples in later time? I explained to you the King of the North and King of the South and how one of those kings is not really the actual king itself. It's just Ukraine is being backed by this uh, union. <clears throat> Now you saw the Oleg, uh, the um, the Wagner group is now wanting to go and uh, do a coup in Russia. So and then he states that if he wins the coup, Ukraine's not part of his war. He has no reason to invade Ukraine. That's going to bring those guys closer together. Just like I said in later times, the King of the North and King of the South will join together along with the other righteous nations and the Muslim nations and go against these people that are forcing homosexuality, transgenderism, technology, interracial mingling, or what other abomination? It's listed, the abominations are listed by God that God does not approve of. Fact. I'm going to get into a great more detail about America itself the 13 colonies who actually founded those it was not the pilgrims i'm going to clearly show you the great separation a long time ago that england when england caused problems in america and how it was england not the pilgrims who started slaughtering native americans i'm going to prove and show everybody this and then you're clearly going to understand a greater thing about the in the book of Daniel in Revelations when it talks about the Antichrist and who follows the Antichrist movement you clearly see it's written the Ethiopian the Libyan and the Nubian will be in his train will be his following now you clearly saw who went over to Ukraine had recently oh the Africans how many times have you ever seen the African nation go to another nation for talks or peace deals or so on and so forth. Now we're starting to see it because you're starting to see the radical antichrist foul ass shit with the Canaanites, the sons of Bilal, and all the abominations of God. All these people, if you read and you understand, why do the nations gather together? Why do the nations roar at his anointed one? And you see the nations that are roaring because these are nations that are foul. Their music's foul. Their TV shows are foul. Their things are all foul. They teach no righteousness whatsoever in school. The things that they think are righteous are actually evil. And they sugarcoat that evil and try to force it as being some good way to act or good way to be. I'm telling you people, I'm right. And you'll see this start to slowly is going to happen. Before the next 20 years takes place, America will be have a civil war before 20 years. I'm thinking even before 10 years, America may have a civil war in within 10 years. But more of this stuff, like I say, will get uh, spread out. I have to teach more, do more spreading open people's eyes up to realizations of what's going on around them I explain and show to them that your brains have been manipulated through entertainment industries to accept things that we normally were not accepting and they use the diversity of flesh the foulness of the perversions of it and this all this type of stuff to try to unite them together and I told you they've been doing that since the kings and queens of ancient times 
when they intermarried their children, forced their children to marry to appease the nations that they were conquering. It's all facts. Do you realize how ignorant you people really are in the world? If you, if you stop and really look at the reality of the things I'm telling you and how evil we all really are. I mean, we are very, we, we don't realize it because we have been accustomed and brought up from children in our families to think that this is the goodness, this is bad. This is good, this is bad. This is acceptable, unacceptable. Our things that have been brought into our assemblies have been very, very defiled by different diversities of cultures and people. In my, in my opinion, it's ignorance. That's why I'm telling you America won't last. No nation lasts that goes around mingling their seed together and their culture and their people. All it does, it, it, it creates arguments. Later on, it'll create fights. One nation wants to rise against another, another rise against... Or you'll have one group claiming, like right now, white power. Oh, there's white white supremacy is in the world. Uh, systemic racism is in the world. Uh, 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 uh. And you look around at every nation and you understand all nations are separated by their fucking nation. Only a small group of uh, small small kingdoms with very few population in them mingle their seed and are living together. All this other perverted, weird, goofy shit. And because you're brought up, just like me, I was brought up in it. I'm a Native American, for God's sake. Half. And when I look at my own damn self and the things that we are living in, I'm disgusted by it. Because I know it's not truth, it's not righteousness. It's worse corruption that I'm in now than we had before. So, <clears throat> it, like I say, my frames of people will only get more distorted because they're going to create more distortions in music, hip-hop, uh, TV shows, television shows, movies. You can clearly see it. Disney's got upset. Disney wants to really be a dirty-ass old man with children. In fact, Walt Disney going to just be known as the, the pedophile cartoon channel. It's disgusting that any of this, we have allowed any of this to rise up. And you know, when you look at it, how it rose up in our nation, it goes back to race. People complaining about their own race of what they are in. And then they decide they want to, well, we want to talk dirty about drugs. We want to talk dirty about sex. We want to do this. We want to do this. We want to spread foul perversion in the mind frames of everyone. Is it okay? No. Oh, well, you're racist then. You're racist. And you Americans fell for it, motherfuckers. Fuck you. You fell for it. Shut up. Look at your nation. Look at all the crap around you. Disgusting. And now they want your military to be a little fruity. Nobody joins in the military anymore. Military going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Your nation don't even make babies because they're all turning gay or interracially minging, mingling. And that causes great problems with the brain. Now, now people fight and argue. They don't even want to go out with each other. Oh, you've been with another kind of race. You've been with another kind of race. Oh, I don't want that person. I don't want that person. And it's a right thing that they should say these things because it is foul and disease-ridden. But you've destroyed your own selves by it. And now you motherfuckers don't even procreate and multiply the face of the earth like God's command. Instead, you kill all your babies and abortions. You're sick. You think God's not going to punish America for all that? You're fucking stupid and ignorant if you think he's not. Why do you think I cry out all the time for you motherfuckers to repent? Because I live in this nation. 
I don't want to be sat there and be punished along with you fuck ups. You sick fucking people. But God will punish us all because of these groups. You understand, everyone? That's why we have to rise up and condemn it. Say no. You're not going to sit around and teach this shit to our children or, or, or bring it in the public assembly. You're not going to play that foul hip-hop music, talk about drugs and sex and alcohol and drinking uh, in our shopping malls all fucking day long to brainwash people. But that's what they do. Anywhere you go shop, you know, they got music playing. Listen to the new, the new music. Back in my day, it was the oldies that were always playing. The, the, from the 60s. In the 80s, we listened. The 60s music was being played. Now, it's now, what's being played is stuff from the 80s and 90s is being played. That was a foul-ass music year. Century, I should say. Very foul music. There was lots of good in it. And very foul, corrupt record companies that were in it. They had just gotten finished. You have to understand, they, the scientists and doctors had just gotten finished with MK Ultra back in the 60s and 70s, studying the brain, putting Americans on LSD, even doing it to a community's water source. CIA did. Who's held accountable? Huh? You, let, you, you like to let your government experiment on you? Fucking crazy people. Ignorant motherfuckers. Go buy your new car. You're going to go get your EV. EVs are out, so go, go buy those. Meanwhile, give up all your fucking sanity. New, new iPhone, Apple, got that come out. Go, go get it. Go get it. Oh, Xbox and uh, PlayStation got new game out. Go get it. Go get it. And start getting depraved in your mind. This is, is, is easy to change. Easily. But the government won't do it. Because all the people that work in your government profit off the stock market of all this shit. That's why we, we need to lower all their pay. I mean, seriously. Anybody in the civil service should not be making more than anybody working at a restaurant. Fact. Because people that work in a restaurant work more and harder than any of you sitting in a fucking desk and you fucking know it. None of these people should be making more than the lowest white collar worker in our society. Any civil servant should be making less money than any. That put people in check. That makes sure people who really do want to work in the civil work for people do it because that's what they love. They love to help people. They love to make things right and good and wholesome and productive. So they're not worried about how much money they're making in their pocket. They're not trying to be rich and profit off of the bad of the world. No. You see? That's why I should run for president. I should be running for president, really. You guys keep putting these rich jack-offs in office. They're not going to fucking help you. No matter what they say, they're never, ever going to help you. See how many executive orders the president can do? You know, I, if I were in office, I'd sign executive orders. Start, I'd start banning shit. Not being a dictator or authoritarian. I'll make sure TV shows are making wholesome shit. Movies are making wholesome shit. Music is making wholesome shit. I'll find any fucking company. If I was, I'd find you thousands and millions and millions of dollars. If you dare violate what I have... Uh, executively ordered out how come no president has ever executively ordered any of this banning on this foul shit they can ban your oil and gas but they won't ban foul shit from your children's minds fuck these leaders 
And when I say it, I'm not going, I'm not saying fuck the leaders as if I want to go out, beat people up and shit and have dumbasses think that nonsense. No, I'm letting you know, I know your mind frame and your wicked evil shit. Fuck you. You're a loser. Oh, that, that's, why, that's why I tried to explain to people about cliques, high school cliques. They're all in their same fucking high school clique. They never grew up. The media sources never grew up. They're all in their high school cliques. You can clearly see that. You can watch the the view or the Fox Five and see that there's that one girl with the glasses. Always, they're all hounding on her because she's one party group. But you can clearly see how the clique is working to get people's mind frames in a clique mind frame as well. High school fucking shit, losers. You people are not cool. I don't care how much richness you got, how fancy your clothes are, and what kind of shoes you wear. You're fucking a loser in my eyes. People will understand me more and more. You know, I'm not trying to be boastful. I, I don't like to be boastful or anything. But, you know, if me being boastful in this manner shed some light on a bunch of fucking ignorant jerk-offs... I mean, even the guys that you go to podcast and you're looking up to, uh, that Tate character, uh, the Muslim guy, he, he's a fucking ignorant jerk off too. Egos, they all have egos, you understand? Whenever I say things like, uh, I know what I look like, or this or that, that's not my ego talking, that's just to let you understand. I'm well aware of the mind frames that people would attach to me. And I'm going to tell you, I don't want your mind frame attached to me. I worship and follow God only. Only. Only God, motherfuckers. So fuck off and leave me the fuck alone. Or you'll be dealing with his wrath. See, that's what I tried to explain to people. When you start fucking around with my world, my world going to collide into your world. Because the Most High God is going to do it. He's going to shake your earth. Throw hailstones on you. Volcano your fucking asses. Throw hurricane upon hurricane all of you. Tornado is going to pick up all your fucking cars and your houses and throw them all the fuck around because that's what you cling to. You're in love and infatuated with your fancy new things. But you better understand that in the last days, God spoke of his army. And you know what he says about his army. It says his army doesn't give a rat's ass about gold or silver. In fact, when his army comes across gold and silver, they throw it in the fucking streets. Have you ever read it? Go read about God's army. Go read about the, our mind frames that we have that is completely different than you foul fucking humans on this earth. The things you worship are not the things that we worship. That's the big difference. And you understand why I'm all alone. That's the Hadith. Why? Why Imam Mahdi appears to be like a stranger amongst everyone? You know, there's things I struggle with on a daily. I hate it too. I get so angry with God sometimes because I have to struggle when I tell God, God, I know it's foul and dirty. I don't want to... Just as, just as Peter said. Peter, when he said, when I have things I don't want to do, I end up doing. And that's what I want to be and want to do, I don't get to do. And God has placed like a thorn in my side to torment me. Same way with me. And I know where it comes from. You understand? That's why another thing I get, I am very angry. Because I know who created this foul thing that entered into my mind. That caused this gin thing that I have to struggle with for the rest of my life to exist. That's why God said, woe unto you. Who deceived the least of my children. Woe unto you motherfucking lawyers. 
doctors, teachers, musicians, actors. Woe unto you! For which you have done into society and caused all the foulness shit. You live it up with your money like you got right now. You live it up because you're going to spend your days in hell in eternity. So I'm right. You all are seeing everything that I have said from two years ago. If you've been following in my channels and have watched all of the videos that I have ever made. You clearly see that I have spoken about everything that the media and the news outlets and everybody all speaking now. Only in I speak even more about stuff. You know, way more. I've called so much shit out, they never do anything about it. I've called out uh, uh, YouTube. YouTube says you can't have hate speech or this or that on YouTube channel. It's against their violation of policy. Yet why is hip-hop, which is racist and has racial slurs and has foul things in it, why is it allowed to be on YouTube? I reported... Let's see, Ice Cube's Cop Killer song. I reported that to YouTube. I even did it on Twitter and reported it to the Senate and the House on Twitter and said, is this not a violation of their own policy? So how come there no one is doing this? But if someone talks about God, all of a sudden it's a ban, you ban them? Or you try to fuck up the algorithm so that their videos aren't seen? Because they, like I, this is why I try to explain to everyone, they make a star who is a star. You know that video, that music video I made? Do you know I made that in like five minutes or less? That's a fact. That's how, that's, see, you hear all these guys, they talk about, oh, it took me about three months to come up with this song and I made this song. Dude, I can make the same fucking shit that these motherfuckers make in five fucking seconds. It's stupidity. And you guys think it's one, look, oh, he's so good of an artist, he's a great musician, he's this, he's that, he's this. All we're doing is banging around trying to find a good sound. That's it. There's no mystery behind any of it. And then once you find the good sound, then you have to mathematically put it together. It's easy. It's bullshit. Yet you're going to pay all these foul-ass fucking people that can do it millions of fucking dollars. Do you understand that you have given foul mind frame people millions of dollars so that they can spread their foulness more? Are you dumb? <laughs> like I said, I'm not, I don't like to be boastful about things. I just like to show people a truths and realities of stuff. That is a great trickery behind all this. Great trickery. I wrote it down. Um, I was listening uh, for the song, like for instance, the, the dance uh, thing I made. I was listening to a thing. I said, oh, I like that. So I decided I'm going to copy it and do it, try to do it. So I did it. And then uh, the sound was working in me. I was listening, hearing it. And I just started to speak in a manner that I thought was, oh, that sounds cool. That sounds cool. Oh, let's make a whole little thing. So I started writing down. I have it all here. Took me no less than uh, no no longer than five minutes. I'm not lying. Here it is, girl. It's you. It's all about you. And then I wrote it. And I wrote it on other paper that I had, uh, because uh, here's where I was writing in Arabic, uh, reading and writing. But I, I I did it on the other side. So here's the paper. You see how much I did. Music is so fucking easy to make. I can't believe this shit. That's why they don't want me to get famous. Because I'll make all these musicians even look stupid and dumb. I'll, I'll show people that they're not so, they're not so wonderful. They, they don't like it. Because it, it'll destroy their, the, 
the image that they have created for this. And nobody going to follow a, a, a Joker no more. Like for me, that's a well, me, that's a small fraction of who I am. Small fucking fraction. As you guys look at this, is this this is all that the people do. Oh, look at her. That's all she does. She's that's all about her. With 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 sexual images she portrays. That's all she knows. Really? But they make it that way. And they'll never let let them voice anything other than what their image is about. Because the minute they start to voice a different image, they get murdered. They get killed or they disappear from be the record store. You don't see their albums no more. Nobody buy it. They don't make anything no more. Nobody promoting it. You understand? These people are jokes, people. Wake up, man. So tired of people uh, glamorizing actors, movie stars, and singers. They're fucking dumb. Did you not go to school with people like this? Do you not know their real mind frame and the way they are? They're dorks. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean to musicians. They're, they're, they're just not cool. They're dorky people trying to be cool. And they'd be cool because uh, they can dance around on a fucking video or put shades on or something else and it looks good. That's all it is. Looks. The reality of it is stupid. It's dumb. You ever made a, a movie? You ever make a movie? That's lame too. I've done it. I do it all the time. I still, I make stuff right now. You want me make you want me make a short film? I can make a short film with just my own self and have Captain Skeleton Man and some other characters in it. I could do it. And it'd be fucking funny. But nobody would show it on algorithm because they don't want me to get famous. They don't want people to know who the fuck I am. That's why it's not going to... I won't, I'll be known more in foreign lands than my own fucking nation. Think about that for a minute. People in Corazon know me more than the people in America know me. But you guys see what's going on. You see him. You see what's happening. And it's getting closer and closer to where the squeeze of the evil, the the, 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 the the lawless people will start to try to squeeze on the righteous. And the righteous will be squeezed for a while because they don't have the truths. They don't have the reality of the word of God. But when they start coming to me, carrying the realities of the word of God and the truths, then they'll pick up the sword that I carry. You know, a lot of people, oh, you're carrying a sword. Oh, you're terrorists, you're terrorists. You know, because they're ignorant. Nobody listens to the words that I say. So whenever I speak words like, when I lift up the sword, you would carry my sword. You're thinking of a real sword. You're, fuck up. We're talking about the word of God. Sick of people putting things in my mouth that I am not. But you, you, you people will understand. That's why they come and grab me up out of my fucking home. They force me to lead them. They forcing me. They grab me up out of my home. Because in the reality of this story, you people are defile me. You, all you sheep would make me nauseous going around you. I don't want to be nauseous. It's, it's, a, it's a fact. That's why I stay away from and keep to myself in reality. A lot of people don't know that about that. But whenever I, I try, uh, there have been many times I've tried uh, to be around people and stuff like that. But just they say something, they do something. It's unclean to me. 
it's my spirit gets set off from them and I just want to get away because it's it's like are you not aware of God it's defiled that you're defiling yourself you're making everything around you dirty words and deeds and all this other stuff you understand so that's why I don't go to the assembly why would I want to go to a mosque or a temple or a church building full of a bunch of foul fucking people in it really who don't even know the proper interpretation of God yet this is where they go to worship their false stuff and they want me they expect me to go in there with them are you fucking kidding me are you fucking kidding me have you seen Joel Osteen and his goofy ass have you seen all these preachers in their goofy asses they even got hip hoppers going around wanting to chit chat with them and they say oh look the hip hoppers here let's all love them let's all sing praise and glory to God ah God loves us all right ah we're never sinners we're all wonderful and good people ah so why the fuck are you dying then why are you under a curse of death if you're so good Why does the world full of evil and the stewardship of us have been handed over to Dajjal and Satan and our whole world is getting corrupt and fouled up? Is it because you, you people have the right word of God or something? I don't think so. Because if you had the right word of God, I don't think this shit would be going on. So you don't have the right word of God. So when you try to fight against devil, the, the devil, right? And you try to use the word of God that you have and the interpretations you have to go after Satan... To try to cast him out. Satan can't cast out Satan. Do you understand now? Why Jesus would say something like Satan can't cast out Satan. You got all these religious guys. Look, look, you got these people going around with exorcism like I told you. That's goofy shit. Don't even exist. It's, it's not real. It's unreal. Oh, look, the guy got a devil in him. He possessed him and they're taking over his body and they, look at it, twerf, twerf, twisting him up and all. It's insanity. It's not truth. No priest would ever let me walk with them when they're going to go do an exorcism. They would never allow me to be in the room with them and their so-called exorcisms of any religion they would never let me go because I would I'd call them all out on it I'd show people the proof the truth of it all and their whole religion nobody would go there who's going to go and listen to this guy who's been exposed as a liar just like when I exposed the Moses turned sticks into snakes now who's going to go and listen to all these guys with certificates still teaching the shit really you're still going to go listen to these dumbasses you, you're going to go listen to them and then you're going to go back home try to and, and try to cast out Satan. You know how many families have been damaged because somebody said somebody was possessed? You know how many damaged families have been destroyed because some religious, fanatical, goofy fuck has said something like that? Meanwhile, they say that and then they get the person in the back room and they're molesting them or they're doing something else to them. It's a fact. It's a fact. And they cover it up, left and right. Look what they're doing to your Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Think about that for a minute. Boy Scouts. Who's in that? Well, the name should tell you who's in that. Girl Scouts. Well, who's in that? Well, the name should tell you who's in that. Oh, but we don't follow those names no more. What the fuck are you talking about? You see, you, you understand what they're... They attempt to change the times and the seasons. It's already here. You're already in it. But you're not aware of it because you, none of you have fucking true religion. You've all been brainwashed by Constantinople and his fucking mother, Queen Helena. Who thinks that crosses, wooden crosses, have powers to heal? That's where your hocus pocus comes from, of all your fucking groups. I'll go and you, I could even go into Islam and start calling out the Islamic uh, leaders back in the day that started talking dumb shit about magic, black magic and white magic, all that goofy shit. 
Oh, you gave me the evil eye! The evil eye! I give you the evil eye. Ah. It's fucking dumb, man. You know, before there was television, yeah, you understand, they had stories of these, what I just told you, crosses that heal, all this stuff. That was their Hollywood back then. Now it's nothing's changed. Nothing's new under the sun. It's just changed the way they do it now. Now they can promote devils and demons on Hollywood and give you an image to look at now. But it never existed anyway. <laughs> That's why I told, explained to you about the, the, the dirty pig and the demon-possessed man with legion in him. Had nothing to do with devils entering in him. He ate bad meat from the pigs. His brain got fucked. He got depressed. He started to try to commit suicide. All sorts of kinds of gin were coming out of him. So God cast it out back into the pigs where they came from. No mystery. No, no hocus pocus here. Same thing if you go and you eat uh, vegetables that are infected with Ebola. Oh, now the guy vomiting up. Look, oh, he, vom he got demons in him. Look, he's vomiting out demons. He can't stop vomiting. He must be possessed. What is wrong with you? Cast holy water on him quickly. Motherfuckers in this world are ignorant anymore. You have completely fouled up Jesus' word. You have completely fouled up Jesus' miracles on top of it. None of you know the truth. This is why they come to my home and they drag me out of my home and force me to lead them. When I don't want to be around them. It's you people who have created certain aspects in society that torment me. You really think I want to hang around you people? I love law and order. I love it. But because of what happened to me when I was a child, because of your laws that you have made, 